In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use Celtics to create a storyboard. This storyboard is what you will need for assignment number three, uh, and Celtics is a screenwriting software, and it allows you to not only do uh, other things like comic book layouts and audiovisual scripts, but it allows you to do uh, storyboards. So what we're going to do uh, to start off with is just open up Celtics, and it'll come to the welcome screen here, and you can just click on storyboard and it loads up your storyboard template. Uh, and so you have a whole bunch of uh, different options in here. Uh, first thing you want to do is obviously name your project. So we're going to say, uh, I'm going to call my project Zombie Apocalypse without words. Okay. So that's the name of my project. And then what you can do with this tool is it allows you to actually add the storyboard images into your workspace here. Now your storyboard images are going to come from one of two places. Either you're going to have somebody in your group draw out each frame of the storyboard and then you can either scan them in using a scanner or you could even take a picture of the image of the drawn images and uh, import those pictures uh, then into your project. Um, the other thing you could do is you could use a tool like Illustrator uh, or Photoshop to create your storyboard frames and then again import those images into Celtics. But what you do need to have is a series of images that have been drawn or created that then you'll import into your storyboard tool. So I've already got some images that I've saved. Um, I didn't draw them but I did save them from uh, from somebody else. So. Uh, what I want to do is just click on Add Images, and I'm just going to navigate to my folder where I have my zombie storyboard images, and then I'm just going to click on the Open button. You see what happens is my three images get imported as individual storyboard frames, and this is exactly what I want, so I can see each frame of uh, the video. I also have the ability to switch them around, put them in different orders because uh, it's very important when you're planning a video to be able to move things around uh, and you know make sure that they are exactly what you want them to be. And then in this section here all you're going to do is actually put a description of what the image is um, is representing. So in this uh, in this case it's sort of a medium close-up and this is girl zombie smiles at camera. Okay, and then my second image here is sort of a, a longer shot, so uh, let's say it's a wide shot, and my zombie uh, comes towards camera and says rawr. Alright, and then my third shot is uh, Again, it's I guess it's kind of a, a, a medium close up and you know a bald zombie with bone uh, flies towards camera. So you can see the idea here is to put in your image and describe the shot and describe the action that's going to take place. And what this is going to do is going to really help you out a lot to be able to visualize how your finished product is going to look. And it's going to help you to be able to plan out each individual shot in your piece uh, before you even pick up a camera. And that is really, really important. So work on your storyboards in Celtics. Once you're done, you can just save your project. And then what you'll do is you'll actually go to Blackboard and you'll upload your project into the assignment so that it can be marked. And that's all there is to it.